Buongiorno, dear chairman, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to thank you, Professor Gasparo and his team for this kind invitation. We heard a lot about different methods to treat varicose veins by endovenous procedures. I will talk about compression after these procedures, which is done practically by all the groups which we have heard. What is the rationale for compression after active therapy? It's twofold. First of all, to optimize the result, so-called empty vein technique, to keep the treated vein free from clots. And the second point is we want to reduce the side effects, inflammation, hematoma, pain, hyperpigmentation. We would like to prevent deep vein thrombosis and also recurrence. After all the procedures which have been mentioned, you may see such bruises and hematomas. I owe this slide to Dr. Pichot from Grenoble. And when we look at the studies on compression, there are several studies questioning the usual compression regimes. But if you look at the yellow written uh, text, you see that most of these studies used very low pressure with their compression. Even thromboprophylactic stockings were used. And the question is, do these low compression pressures achieve venous closure? To stop bleeding after surgery, this would be a prerequisite. We can occlude the treated vein, one, by concentric compression using sufficient pressure, which would be the conventional compression bandage with high pressure, or with a positive eccentric compression. By decreasing the radius, we are increasing the pressure, and the consistency of the pad plays a major role. Which pressure do we need now to compress psi veins? In the upright position, you see that the intravenous pressure in the psi region, kosha, is between 30 and 60 millimeters of mercury. And if we look what the compression stocking, which is usually taken after such procedures, exerts, it's about 10 millimeters of mercury and not more. So what we did for many years was we applied these uh, short stretch adhesive bandages immediately after surgery. You see the scene is still in the operating theater. And these uh, bandages I applied with a resting pressure between 60 and 80 in the standing position. You will tell me this cannot be tolerated, but it can. You see the standing pressure here in this case is 75. The resting pressure is close to 40. And after 24 hours, or after in, in the uh, duration of 24 hours, we have a toler tolerable resting pressure in the supine position, but still a very high standing pressure, which is then hemodynamically active. This is a slide which we took last year in Ecuador after bilateral laser treatment by American colleagues, we see this hematoma in the region where we had no compression and where we had done our strong adhesive bandage, bandages. 24 hour, hours later, we don't see any hematoma. Stockings compress superficial veins in the supine position. We were able to show this together with Giovanni Mosti by MRI. You see here a varicose vein, large varicose vein in the lying position, which is already clearly narrowed by 18 millimeters of mercury. If you put the second layer of stocking over the first, this vein can really be collapsed. But this is true only for the supine position. When we look what happens during standing, we see that the compression stocking with 22 millimeters of mercury is amazingly able to reduce the diameter of the deep veins, but the superficial vein stays completely unchanged. So in standing, we certainly need much higher pressure in order to occlude superficial veins. The second uh, possibility to compress veins are to use positive eccentric compression. And this is following the law of Laplace. We are decreasing the radius to increase the pressure and the consistency of the pad plays a major role. Here there are some experiments which we did using um, 
water filled uh, bag here applying to the thigh and over that we had this echo cuff which consists of a blood pressure cuff with an acetate window through which we can insonate the vein. And you can see that with a pressure here of 22 millimeters of mercury, we are able to occlude the vein totally, reaching a pressure under the bed of 60 millimeters of mercury. So by using such pads, we, are increase, we, are, we have the possibility to decrease the pressure needed to occlude the great saphenous vein at side level. This has been published together with my son some years ago. These are pictures which we took together with Marzia Lulli and Oscar Maletti using such a firm uh, compression device and over that a stocking and we measured the pressure here and by using such devices we are able again standing MRI together with Giovanni Mosti you can see this wedge-like distortion of the thigh and by using a, a, a simple struva stocking with painting technique with this crosswise tapes and the device we are able to achieve a pressure here of 60 millimeters of mercury and thereby to occlude the vein by in the standing position. Uh, there are some studies endorsing compression and here I just want to concentrate on these two one you saw already uh, published by, uh, by uh, uh, Marcia Lulli and the other one was coming from Dr. Mosti and his group. These are the results from Dr. Lulli published in Phlebology, very impressive facts. A pad fixed by painting technique, cross tape technique and a stocking done in 100 patients after laser procedure versus the stocking alone and you can see there's a significant decrease of the frequency of ecchymosis, bleeding, and also the pain score was statistically, statistically, statistically less uh, in the painting technique with the, the pad. Some limits concerning compression treatment. This is, of course, the severe arterial occlusive disease, ABPI less than 0.5, uh, or a systolic ankle pressure of 60 should be a contraindication for firm continuous compression. Severe cardiac insufficiency might be a problem, but also teleangiectasias are limiting compression. When we look at this slide here, we looked again with this transparent window through the window with the echo cuff and with six millimeters of mercury and with 100 millimeters of mercury, there's no nearly no difference. We are not able to compress even with 100 millimeters of mercury these small teleangiectasias in the lying position. Anyhow, excellent results have been reported clinically after using compression stockings worn for three weeks after such uh, injection of small veins, as you can see here, uh, published by Kern. And in the same direction, we have data now from Mariani and his group showing that at least in comparison with a good stocking versus probably a not so good bandage, there was less hematoma, less edema after seven days, less pain, and better patients accepting the quality of life. So in conclusion, we may say, venous occlusion of the great saphenous vein of the thigh cannot be obtained by compression stockings. The pressure exerted by such a compression stocking is less than 15 normally. This can be reached only with sustained compression of 50 to 70 millimeters in the upright position. And eccentric compression using a hard pad could be a good alternative. By using such pads, a stocking of 15 millimeters of mercury can increase the local pressure up to more than 50 millimeters of mercury and exact position over the treated vein of this bed is of course important. But anyhow, the second point, even without considerable narrowing of the veins, compression of the venous procedures is beneficial, as you saw it from the study from, from Kern, from Switzerland, but also from the Mariani study. And this may be due to the fact that also less pressure is able to reduce edema, to reduce pain and inflammation. Thank you for your attention.